The projected landing for NASA's Perseverance rover on Mars scheduled for February 18. Seven months after blastoff, NASA's Mars 2020 mission will have to negotiate its shortest and most intense phase on day. The seven minutes of terror it takes to slam on the brakes and land the Perseverance rover on a narrow target on the planet's surface. Entry, descent, and landing EDL begins when the spacecraft carrying Perseverance strikes the Martian atmosphere at nearly 12,500 miles per hour. It ends around seven minutes later with the rover at rest on the surface. Touchdown on the Jezero crater is scheduled for 3.55 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. But it will take about 11 minutes to get a radio signal back from Mars to know it happened. Weather conditions so far appear favorable in the Martian Northern Hemisphere spring. But nothing is taken for granted. This is one of the most difficult maneuvers that we do in this business. And almost 50% of the spacecraft that had been sent to the surface of Mars have failed. So it needs to be very vigilant. Perseverance, first it reached atmospheric entry. Ten minutes before entering the Martian atmosphere, the spacecraft sheds its crews. It's the stage that supplied the fuel tanks, radios, and solar panels on the voyage. It's left with just a protective aeroshell, carrying the rover and descent stage. And it fires thrusters to make sure its heat shield is forward-facing. At about 80 miles altitude, it careens into the atmosphere and things start to get hot. Peak heating occurs about 80 seconds, in when the heat shield surface reaches 2,370 degrees Fahrenheit. Perseverance is tucked away safely in the aeroshell, only experiencing room temperature. The craft might need to fire thrusters to stay on course as it hits air pockets. Then it's reached to stage of parachute deployment. The spacecraft has slowed down to less than 1,000 miles an hour. Then it's time to deploy the 70.5 feet wide supersonic parachute at an altitude of 7 miles. Perseverance is deployed with a new technology called range trigger. That decides the precise moment to deploy, its logic is based on the craft's position relative to the landing site. This is the most critical event. And obviously there's a lot of concentrated risk in supersonic parachute opening. To try out its new design, NASA had to carry out extensive, supersonic parachute testing from, high altitudes here on Earth. A field of research that had been dormant, since the 1970s. It moved to the next stage heat shield separation. The spacecraft jettisons its heat shield. Around 20 seconds after the parachute has been deployed, the rover is exposed to the atmosphere for the first time and used a landing radar to bounce signals off the surface and calculate its precise altitude. The mission will also see another technology deployed for the first time. The Terrain Relative Navigation System, that uses a special camera to identify surface features and compare them to an onboard map where engineers pre-programmed the safest landing sites. That gives the vehicle eyes and the ability to really see where she's going and it can figure out where she is. After this execution it moved to powered descent. Mars has the thin atmosphere, much thinner than Earth's. The parachute got the vehicle down to 200 miles per hour. So Perseverance had to cut the chute, loose it, dispense with its back shell, and use rocket thrusters to ease itself down. It is using an 8-engine jetpack. That's installed directly above the rover, and fired up at around 6,900 feet above the surface. The vehicle has to tilt right away in order to avoid the falling parachute. And back shell, then uses its sophisticated systems to continue its descent. Next it moved to the stage of Sky Crane. With 12 seconds to go, at a height of 66 feet, the rocket-powered descent stage lowers the rover down to the ground using long cables. In a maneuver it's called Sky Crane. The rover locks its legs, and wheels into a landing position, and touches the ground, at a little less than 2 miles an hour. As the descent stage flies off, and makes its own controlled landing. Perseverance is now set for its mission, Mars Perseverance will spend the coming years, scouring for, signs of ancient microbial life in this historic mission. And it will bring back samples from Mars to Earth. It will prepare the way for future human visitors.